If you look around you, all you see are materials, and materials are very, very critical to every aspect of our life and every function that we do in our life. If we look at the future, we need better materials that are more sustainable. We need better materials that have a better energy conversion and storage and harvesting capabilities. Material science is kind of different things to different people, but the way I explain it is the combination of engineering, physics and chemistry to understand materials from the atomic level. So we're talking about the combination of elements and how they arrange in space, all the way up to the microstructural level, which is how these atoms combine to form particles of different shapes and sizes and how those affect the devices that they may be put into. So structural devices that may be in buildings or electronic devices that may even be in your pocket. We have uh, currently five programs and we adapt the programs based on what is actually really needed and, and required now and in the future, of course. We have one program on energy storage. We have a programs on sustainable materials. We have a program for uh, innovation and enterprise. We also have a novel program which focuses on data-driven and machine learning and AI. And of course, we have the general program. We are focused on achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. The students will undertake a six-month research project in an area that potentially will contribute to achieving this goal. There might be areas, topics related to carbon capture and storage, recycling of materials, and the optimization of processes where the process becomes more efficient and more sustainable. We offer a range of topics from business and development, all the way to um, fundamental sciences. And in between, we offer modules that show the students how previous success stories within the material realm have transformed into huge industries. It's very important because a new material can bring with it a variety of new industries just because of the new capabilities that it adds. So we've got fantastic facilities here. Anything from characterization of materials, so how we can use different methods to understand the properties of those materials, be it mechanical properties by compressing them or stretching them. We can also look at their microstructural properties by using scanning electron microscopes. And we can also investigate the fabrication of these materials as well by using advanced robotic techniques, automatic dispensing of uh, chemicals to speed up that discovery process and find materials quicker for different applications. We have a research laboratory, the Materials Discovery Laboratory, and we have the wet lab, which is a collaborative space. The teaching wet labs uh, comprises of three different spaces all offering very different educational services. We have one big main lab for 120 students. And then we have a large equipment room with loads of chemical engineering, mechanical engineering rigs, really big items, standalone items. And then we have a tissue culture lab, which is more for tissue engineering. The staff are supportive and you can bounce ideas off them really well but also everything around you is built to accommodate new ideas to make it as comfortable to do your own research and take those strides that you need to. I love my experiments when I do the different thing I try the new agent and I synthesized a new material successfully and I really enjoy this time. I really enjoy like studying the batteries, especially like solar cells or lithium ion batteries. I think the coolest piece of equipment here is definitely the SEM microscope. It can show us the microstructure of the materials. Materials discovery is a very, very innovative area and it opens the doors to a large number of fields in the future. We can work on novel synthesis of materials that can be used for carbon capture and also Half of the master students are doing on self-healing polymers, which is also a very innovative area because it talks about future research about how they can revolutionize air travel, aviation sector, and space travel as well. So I believe overall material study is a very, very innovative concept. It's going to gain ground in the future.